Hi, my name is Xavier Zoli. I'm a French bass player. I've been in different styles with different artists such as Allo Black, Gilberto Gio, Grand Camp Malade, Garbou, Margaret Chimenezis, Relema, Meyer Andrade, Ahmed Sultan. I've owned around 40 basses in my life and I've always loved to modify them to have unique instruments. And with this one, I went quite far, I guess. Recently, I've posted some videos of myself playing with this bass on YouTube and I had a lot of messages and questions from the different people around the world, that's why I'm speaking in English right now. And I've decided to make a video to answer up to all those questions. So this bass is a Fender Mustang JMJ Signature model. I got it in 2019 after seeing a band named The Stat. The bass player of this band, Yoke, plays a Serac Midwestern 2 with a B90 pickup. And his song was huge, it was really great, and it made me want to try short scale basses. So I gave a shot, I went to local stores, try different basses, and I found this one. I highly recommend you to try them out because even if it's Fender and it's a Seri, this one was really better than the others. Back then, I didn't know if I would like short scale bass that much, so I wasn't ready to spend a lot of money on a fancy bass like a Serac bass. But I was still curious about this B90 pickup, so I went to Serac's website to order B90 online just to try how it could sound on this bass, and it sounded really good. It sounded great, but I had a massive issue with this configuration. As it's a single call P90 style, according to the venue I went, I could have had a massive buzz, like really massive, horrible buzz. When you're a professional, you can't just go to a venue hoping that your instrument will work. It has to work. I had to find a solution to make it work. I've tried to install a dummy call and the result wasn't that great. Still have a lot of buzz, so I've decided to add another pickup. I've chosen the Guild BS one because I had no idea how it could sound. And I'm always curious to try new things. I've seen that Jake Serek used this configuration on some of his bass, so I thought it could be a good idea. There is a question I got a lot, it's about the position of the speakers. And actually I've decided, after seeing a video of Curtis Novak talking about how pickup sounds better when the magnets are under some harmonic of the strings. For the pickup's position, I wanted kind of a jazz bass position, so it had to have 9 centimeters between the magnets. And I also wanted the magnets being under harmonics. So I've checked the harmonics on the string. And I had to find two harmonics that were separated by 9 centimeters, which are those ones. For the electronic first, I was once again inspired by Serec. I've tried to have this mini switch to select pickups, volume knob and tone knob. But I got very frustrated. I felt that I couldn't go through the full range of sounds that I could. So I've decided to change it. So now you can find an on-off switch, a blend knob and a tone knob. Actually, this bass has a volume pot, but it's hidden. I use it for two reasons. First, to connect the ground to the other component. And second, because it's kind of a high frequencies filter. It's a 250k part, it's kind of the standard you can find on almost every instrument. On those pictures, you can see how I've wired it all. So all those mods were made by myself at home. I've used a uh, soldering iron, some files, sending papers, a lot, different sides, and a Dremel. For the peak guard, I've tried many things. I've tried first with a plastic standard one, and it was a fail because I didn't have the proper tools. So I've decided to go with aluminum. I took the original one to 
measure of the proper size and then adapt with the pickup. I've used the Dremel, some files and sanding papers. Actually, this is the second version. I've ruined the first one, drilling a hole that wasn't supposed to be here and it went to the trash. I've always wanted to have a burgundy mist instrument. That's what I've done with this one. I've used Nitolac paint. It's a brain from Spain that is really cool. It's the second base I've refinished with that and it worked very well. For the whole painting process, I've watched some videos that a Kikas base builder from Belgium and Paul Belgrado sent to me and they're super useful and very detailed. I highly encourage you to watch them. I'll put the link in the description. In the end of the day, does it worth it? It depends. To me, yes, because I had a lot of fun doing it. It was fun to conceive it, to do the modification and to have an instrument that is very unique. But before doing that, you should consider many things. First, money, because you get to buy a base, but you also have to buy pickups, electronic, sometimes tools. Also, you have to get some skills. It's not the first time I modify a base like that. First, I bought a cheap, shitty, basic base that I've totally ruined by making a lot of mistakes. But that's how I've learned. If it's your first modification, buy a cheap base, or you might regret it. As I said, it could be a lot of money, but also, it's a lot of time. If you're in a rush, don't do it. Take your time to be sure of what you're doing. My last advice on it is have a proper work space. It's a lot of dust and sometimes you need to use many tools at the same time. I kind of regret to have done that in my apartment. You need to find a real workspace. If it's the first time you want to modify a base, I highly recommend you to go see a professional luthier. In the end, it will save you money and time and you'll be sure to have a good instrument. Actually, thanks to my friend Bertrand Dufour from Melo Duende Guitar, I've met Philippe Bouillou from Free Guitars. We're conceiving kind of big sisters of this bass. Soon there will be five strings with two P90s pickups and uh, four string with a P bass pickup. So I'll let you know about that as soon as I got them. I'm so excited about that. I hope you like this video that it helps to answer some of your questions. Uh, if you got other things to ask or things I forgot, don't hesitate to contact me or comment or I don't know how it works. Bad with social medias. And voila, bye. Oh, you may notice that it's not Fender anymore on the headstock. It's written Bass. It's a highly inappropriate joke that made me laugh a lot from a friend. So I won't tell what it is, but just private joke.